Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Sirisha Singh. I'm a dermatologist. Uh, I practice dermatology and cosmetic dermatology. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, photofacials. Before we go down to photofacials, um, it would be good to know the difference between a regular facial and a photofacial. A regular facial is something which uh, almost all women and a lot of men get done uh, nowadays. It's something which people start at a very young age, starting from their late teens or their early twenties. A regular facial should be done maybe once every three to four weeks. The common steps in a regular facial, broadly speaking, the steps can be divided into cleansing the skin, toning the skin, uh, moisturizing the skin and all facials end with using a face mask which hydrates the skin and also firms up the skin. An advancement on the regular facial is uh, what is commonly spoken of as a photofacial or a photo rejuvenation. A photofacial or a photo rejuvenation is a skin treatment procedure. And what we normally do is uh, we suggest that you can have the steps of your facial, your cleansing, toning, moisturizing and firming. They, these steps can be done regularly at your own home. Some steps like your cleansing, toning and moisturizing should be done every night before you go to sleep. And some steps like firming can be done maybe twice a week in your own home using products that you can either pick off the counter or products that you can make at home yourself. What a photofacial does is uh, over the years all the UV damage that your skin has uh, managed to in the forms of age spots, freckles or red blemishes or broken capillaries. A photofacial or a photo rejuvenation slowly and gradually over a period of time reverses these signs of UV damage on your skin. A photofacial is done once every three to four weeks. Uh, you can consult the dermatologist and they would tell you whether or not the photofacial is suitable for your skin type. Uh, what happens in a photofacial is uh, we flash visible light that is light between the 400 to 1200 nanometers uh, spectrum through your skin. This light then gets absorbed by the blemishes in your skin that is either the black blemishes on your skin or the red blemishes on your skin. The blemishes then get heated up and destroyed. So the difference that you would find is soon after the photofacial, the initial stage, the same day after the photofacial or the next day within the first 24 to 36 hours, you will notice that the tan fades away and your skin develops a glow. Once you have been getting a photofacial regularly, once every 3 to 4 weeks for about 6 sessions or so, what you would notice is your freckles go away, the age spots reduce considerably in number, your skin has an overall more uniform tone, that is the color of the skin is uniform regardless of whether the skin is on the forehead or around your mouth. Um, and the skin also has a more uniform texture, that is it looks less coarse and less rubbery. And when done regularly, it also firms up the skin and tightens up the skin. After the photofacial, your doctor will give you some home care tips. Uh, the commonest home care tip that the doctor, all doctors would give you is you would need to use a sunscreen regularly. And when I say you need to use a sunscreen regularly, you need to have a sunscreen with an SPF of at least 30. You need to apply it about 15 to 20 minutes before you're stepping out of the house and when you're outdoors you need to apply it every two to three hours. Uh, you will also be given some anti-aging creams which could be either retinol based creams or beta hydroxy acid based creams to be used at home regularly in the night. In addition to this depending upon your skin's requirements you may be given some vitamin containing creams either a vitamin C or a vitamin A containing cream to be used regularly at home in the night. Feel free to contact me. My all contact details are given in the description box. Thank you.